pencil sharpeners. They're not the most glamorous thing, but they're super important to the result of high quality artwork because I tell you what, if you have a terrible pencil sharpener, it is the most frustrating thing. And if it keeps breaking your pencils, then it just eats up your pencils. And what fun is that? I mean, that's just a nightmare, you know, especially if you've got some expensive colored pencils or just some expensive graphite pencils. So here's the thing. This is a compensated review. It is the Rio SD04. Also, here's the thing. I give honest reviews on my channel, whether I'm compensated or not, okay? So I decided to review this because my old electric pencil sharpener was kind of hitting the fritz. It was like five or six years old and it was on its way out. So I went ahead and said, yes, let's do this. So there's a 10% discount code across the screen right now. And the link is in the description box below along with that code. So it's just specifically for you subscribers. So I'm really excited to show you the pros, some things that need to be improved upon. We have an unboxing of this and I did a drawing of Totoro with it. So we'll take you through that as well. And I will see you at the end of the video. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this video. It keeps me in their algorithm and subscribe if you haven't yet. You're here, you might as well. Okay, I'll see you later. Hello friends, how we doing today? Let's unbox this little gem. It is a pencil sharpener and it's an electric pencil sharpener. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to show you my address because there's too many creepy people out there. This is the Rio Portable Automatic Pencil Sharpener. So when the company contacted me, one of the things that attracted me right away to this was, it's not even really about the sharpener, but there's a little storage cup. So, you know, I don't know about you, but whenever I'm using colored pencils in particular, I've got colored pencils everywhere, okay? And I'm messy. And so it would be nice to just have, like, I could put it in another cup, sure. But who wants to do that and can't take up more space on your desk? <laughs> Especially if you have limited desk area to begin with. So very, very cool. It is a single hole. I don't know. I don't, I guess you can't really adjust it any other way. So that's okay though. I have, I have a manual sharpener for that, but it comes with the AC adapter. It can it can take four AA batteries and then it comes with a little cleaning brush and I think that's very thoughtful too as well. So I'm going to test this out. I'm going to test a number of different colored pencils out and I'm also going to use it for a colored pencil drawing. So all right, we'll go from here. So I was curious as to whether or not this little sharpener would be able to handle the width of Derwent's pencils because a lot of contemporary pencil sharpeners these days, the hole is not big enough for them. So. We may have a winner. Let's try it. Well, it fits, but it's kind of snug. Uh, but that's a lovely point. I'm wondering if this has an automatic stop. Okay. Look at that point. Very, very nice. But uh, it looks like, mm, it looks like it ate up quite a bit there. That's the thing about all electric sharpeners usually is that they will eat up the pencil pretty quick. Oh my. That is a lovely point though. In my conclusion, I will say that I probably will keep the Derwent pencils for my manual sharpener. All right, round one. Right now, I have several budget-friendly pencils. We've got Sharper, Farman, whatever it is. We've got Deli, we have got Mark Art, we have got Pagos, we have got Castle Arts, and I think that's it.
Okay. Beautiful points. Didn't have any issues with any of these. And it only takes about three seconds to sharpen these. And although this pencil sharpener doesn't have an automatic stop, you know, everybody can count to three seconds. It's fine. Okay. So I had forgot to include Arteza, Arteza, whatever. The majority of these are going to be premium pencils or mid-grade pencils. So we have the Prismacolor because I'm curious to see how it holds up against a soft pencil. We also have the amazing Holbein and we have the amazing Pablo and of course everyone's favorite Polychromos. So it looks like on the softer pencils, which are the Holbein Prismacolor and this Arteza, I don't know if you can tell, but some of the tips are a little bit kind of slanted at an angle on the end, just slightly. And probably what that is is just because it's a softer pencil. And I would just maybe be careful of how long you put these in the sharpener because this doesn't have an automatic stop. So just make sure that you're not over sharpening with your softer pencils. On the harder pencils like Pablo and Polychromos, you can definitely see that they're at a very, very, very fine point. Love it, beautiful. Round three will consist of water soluble pencils because of course they're made a little bit differently. And I'm just curious to see if it makes a difference when I use this sharpener with them. So we have Pagos and we have Albert Durer the beloved Albert Durer, and then we have Arteza's watercolor pencil. As a quick note, just wanna say that you can open the receptacle by pulling out. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and wait until it was full, and then I pulled really hard, and now I have pencil shavings on me. <laughs> so I wouldn't wait until it gets exceptionally full. Okay, right away, it does not fit Albert Durer. Beautifully sharpened end. So the ones that I was able to sharpen were the Pegos and the Arteza. Now the thing about Albertur is that it's just slightly larger than most pencils and I usually have to use a manual sharpener for it. So I'm not gonna hold it against this pencil sharpener just because it can't take it. Round four, these are some that I had totally forgotten that I have a few of open stock. This is a Blick Studio and that is a very soft pencil. We have Super Color by Karin Dosh, and then we have the Derwent Watercolor. So let's go ahead and see how these do in the sharpener. drawing I made sure that I used more than one type of colored pencil and I made sure that I kept them sharpened throughout the entire drawing as I was drawing fur and I started this with using a base of Ardex Alp gray toned markers which I love and then I used a mixture of polychromos mark art and guess what Prismacolor yes this marks the first time in many years that I have used the newer Prismacolors and you know what I'm gonna do, do a whole new video on that in the future. But for this piece, I was inspired to draw Totoro from the 1988 classic Studio Ghibli film, My Neighbor Totoro. And if you haven't seen it, you have to see it. It is just so cute. And to me, I loved what Totoro stood for in the film. 
But back to the sharpener, I had zero issues with over sharpening or breakage after sharpening. And so this, I was actually really impressed by this. And I also made sure that I didn't press down too hard. So keep that in mind whenever you're sharpening with this pencil, just don't press too, down too hard and don't go past about three seconds and you're good. But one thing I did have trouble with from time to time was emptying the receptacle. You have to slightly squeeze and pull at the top, but other times it came off fine. And you know, I'm not the most coordinated person, so maybe that's part of it. You know, I like that the sharpener is just kind of no bells and whistles. It's just a very straightforward, well-working sharpener. And even though it didn't make it to the final cut, I did sharpen with some graphite pencils. And it worked just fine. It sharpened very fine to a very fine point, but I prefer to use a hand crank sharpener with graphite instead of electrical sharpeners. And I don't know, I just feel like electric sharpeners are designed for some colored pencils better. And graphite tends to work better with a hand crank sharpener, if you know what I mean. But you could definitely use it for graphite. Now, design-wise, it's very, very sturdy. I actually accidentally dropped it, of course, because I'm clumsy and nothing cracked or broke so that's pretty awesome and I used the adapter instead of the double A batteries because when I went to film I only had three double A batteries instead of four so go figure however I do love this option because sometimes I like to make art and watch TV and it's just a nice cordless option so overall I do think that this is a great pencil sharpener for all ages and it's sturdy enough to keep it around your kids and it's good enough for an artist too watching and I want to say hello to all my new subscribers and of course loyal ones as well. You don't even know how much I appreciate you guys. It really just is so rewarding that I have a connection with you guys and that we can just exchange our love of art supplies and the love of art and the passion behind it. So I really appreciate it. So thank you for staying this long and getting to this point in the video. Folks, don't forget, I live stream here every Sunday night, normally at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, because this Sunday is my brother's birthday, yeah, I have my son's birthday today, and then I have my brother's birthday. Lots of Leos in my family. So, instead of going at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time this week, I'm going to go on at about 2 p.m., okay? So that way, everybody is kind of up and about doing things, and you can make sure that you join. So here's the thing. Some of you guys have told me that you aren't getting notifications on the live stream, so I recommend that you unsubscribe, then resubscribe, and make sure that bell is, is set to all notifications. Maybe then you'll get it. I don't know. YouTube is a weird, weird, crazy world. I don't get it sometimes either, but... Thank you for being there and actually seeing the streams and participating. I love talking with you guys on the streams and chatting. Anyways, I will let you guys go. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you later. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I think we might have a winner actually. Wait, that doesn't need to be. Okay. Hello. About how it will hold up against a soft pencil. We have. Okay. I'm going to start this over. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. Guys, this dress, oh my God. I got it at a thrift store for $5. Mm -hmm. So there is a 10% discount of this color, oh my God, <laughs> of this color pencil. But we will talk about that and you'll see the time set, time left. <laughs> right button, like it because it keeps me in the algorithm and y'all know I like being in that algorithm.
Do you guys like the new lighting setup? I love these things. These are, these are the newer RGB lights, and I just love playing around with them. They're so fun, and you can make them just about any color. Let me show you. With your phone, too. Technology, I tell you. What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, that's, that's too much. What did I have it set as? I had it set as blue, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so then we have the second light over here. Ooh. Ooh. And then, of course, we're back to red. That is so cool. It's so fun. I'm already sweating. Oh, let's set it to a party scene. These things are crazy. It's the party in my art studio. We're gonna make some art and play some crazy music. Subscribe!